It has tortured us for years, randomly selecting terrible videos that are painful to watch, leaving only the most disturbing nightmares and scarring the mind for life. Many have tried to destroy it, but true evil never dies. It is only... It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. I mean, misfortune. Hey, Josh. Oh, uh, what are you looking at? Nothing. Um, so we're gonna do another wheel episode? Yeah, we're here. We got 12 videos on the wheel and it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting day. A memorable day. What were you looking at before? Uh, um, Let's talk about what's on the wheel today. First up, rent a friend. Uh, I think we've had this on the wheel before. I remember the quote yeah. by Oprah Winfrey. Unbelievable. Like the context it's not, isn't there. It's not believable. It sounds angry. Yeah. Like she's mad that someone made this. Like a prank has been pulled on her. Right. Mm. Like, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, available for, for the first time since 1987. Uh, this, this is reminiscent of the instant adoring boyfriend vid mm -hmm. video. Uh, something really pathetic. What's next, Josh? Oh, next up is uh, Run Through the Warehouse by um, Meisel or Measel and Cisco. Uh, we, you might know Cisco as a provider of uh, terrible foods, mm. terrible generic foods to- I thought he was uh, a rapper. That's true. Maybe he's a rapper who provides terrible, quote, low quality. Ooh. And music. Well, this, this is entitled Run Through the Warehouse, which for me just has uh, Run Through the Jungle by Creedence Clearwater Revival going through my head. Oh, okay. Uh, are they related? We'll never know. Um, so th this is now available for the first time since 1986. <laughs> Very similar true. to Rent a Friend. Wow, I wonder if the next video is going to be available for the first time since 1985. We'll see. What is it? Experience the freedom of the naturist lifestyle. Do we have to? Uh, is that a question? Or a, 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 a demand. It seems like a statement. Uh, a natura, naturist lifestyle certainly sounds like a nudist colony to me. It certainly does. Uh, I'd, I'm disturbed to note that it's out of uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oh God. I don't recall any nudists around Oshkosh in my time there, but. Uh, certainly not during the polar vortex. Oh. <laughs> What's Copyright. next, Josh? Oh, next up is Law Enforcement Guide to Satanic Cults. Officer training purposes only. We know how well that goes. Uh, unauthorized viewers may be subject to prosecution under penalty of law. Oh, so once funny. again, we will not be allowed to watch this video. Mm -hmm. It's really too bad. Well, we probably shouldn't put it in our internet video that will be seen by hundreds of thousands of people. Now I guess we're gonna do it anyway. We tried before and uh, we're still here. It's one of the benefits of being in a satanic cult. Oh. Uh, preventing disaster at the crossing. Oh, see you at the crossroads. And there's a, there's a faint uh, school bus in the background, so I oh, assume they mean a, like a train crossing? Maybe, or like a, you're, in a, you're in a car with tinted windows. Oh, uh -huh. and the school bus is coming at you. Yeah. And next up we have Chickens Gone Wild. Chickens Gone Wild. As, as featured on Animal Planet and Ripley's Believe It or Not. Nah, not. I don't. Yeah. It looks like he hired a, a professional photographer though for his cover. Well, he's got the backdrop happening here. and did a real good job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a cover. Oh God, what happened? <laughs> Jesus. Well, this looks like the sticker. Come yeah, on. oh no. Maybe he lives in like uh, Phoenix or Las Vegas or something. He left it out in his car. Maybe. Or a chicken's got at it. <laughs> mm. 
Orgasmic Birth, the best kept secret. Oh my God, look at all the awards. Award winner. Yeah. Winner of the 2008 Mother Baby International Film Festival. It was the only entrant. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so the Utsi Film Festival in the Czech Republic. I think they took it a it's different a way. Very hard festival to get into. Oh yeah. <laughs> Portugal. Mm. This is some serious business. Uh, a documentary that examines the intimate nature of birth and the powerful role it plays in the in women's lives when they are permitted to experience it fully. Is this is this having an orgasm while you give birth? Is that I, I believe so. Okay, it's pretty clear, but I think that's what they're going I for. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And maybe how to? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't. Next up is creating Rem Lazar. Every child has a Rem Lazar. Is that a disease? Rem Lazar just sounds like an anagram. I'm just saying. It does. Uh, it means something <laughs> sickening. <laughs> Uh, it's like a like a like a George Lucas name. Mm. Just just he took a normal word and just tried to change it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, this 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 we have a lot to say about the front cover. Oh yeah. Uh, how to sell thousands of dollars worth of plants from your home, comma, even if your house is surrounded by huge discount stores and home improvement stores. No period, but a comma. <laughs> yes, but the, the sentence continues to this gentleman with uh, lots of dollar bills on top of his couch. Now, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Someone has written in crayon 37. Uh -huh. So is, is that a late like alteration? How to sell 37 thousands of oh. dollars worth? <laughs> Like, I gotta make a change. I wouldn't have even thought of it that I way. I'm crazy, I gotta make a change. <laughs> exactly 37,000s, no more, no less. I've run out 30... of dimes for the Xerox machine. <laughs> uh, this looks like Crazy Man made it. Uh, it looks yeah. wonderful. See, now there's the, there's the, on, the, on, the, on the spine, there's a cut down, how to sell thousands of dollars worth of plants from home. Oh, okay. That's it. Alternate title. Yeah, he wants, but he really wanted to get everything he needed to say on the front cover. I respect that. Yeah. Oh. Our next video is To Have and To Hold, humorous glimpses at the ties that bind, and sometimes not. Oh. Cannot. Paul and Nicole Johnson bring home the truth about relationships in a way that is gripping, humorous, and insightful, says Gary Smalley, best-selling author and speaker. How to have fun with Billy Bob teeth. I saw it on TV. Best-selling tape. Mm. Oh, I was gonna say best-selling tape in West Virginia. Oh, uh, they don't have VCRs there. <laughs> and they already know how to have fun with Billy Bob teeth. <laughs> it's just daily life. <laughs> well, I don't need to watch an old video about that. I feel like if we watch this video, we're gonna all be looking like this lady on the front cover. Yeah. With, oh, the, with the caption that says question marks, next question marks. Oh. Next. Plus Billy Bob Boogie music video. Oh, that's not gonna go well. AKA time filler. Mm. Three thumbs up. They're very inbred in West Virginia. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I see where we're going. And it has a five star rating. From someone. Ah, uh, how to play to win blackjack. Learn smart money management. Learn when to hit, stand, split, double down, use insurance, learn the terms. Break, bust, push, shoe, burn, card, hard hand, soft hands. Layout design, a burden. I'm not joking, Sierra Design. A burden. A burden, that's what it actually says. I, and I can tell it was a burden. <laughs> but uh, I mean, they could have had him do it because at least this is like black text on a white background. Mm -hmm. Clearly, clearly read it. Read. Yeah. yeah, this is this is a burden. It's a burden to read. Yeah, it was a burden to make and a burden to read. And thanks a lot. Are you spinning or am I? Uh, I don't know. Let's do rock paper scissors. Okay. Should we do best out of three or just one time? Uh, if we hit it the first time, we hit it the first time. Otherwise, we do best out of three. Okay. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Shh. You got it. <laughs> I was gonna say shit because. 
I did or did not want to spin it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know. You got it. Uh, here I go. You won. I guess you spin, or is the the winner not get to spin? We the, I, clarify. That's that. a fair point. We made a decision, and I'm spinning the wheel. Okay. And that's the end of that. You won. You get to choose. I don't. Don't say win. I I don't. I didn't win. I have a punishment because you get all the blame when you land on the the nudist column. <laughs> God damn. And we all have to like like kind of block out Rich's erection. I know. Oh God. Uh, it's just gonna. <laughs> Be weird. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go get a drink for 12 minutes. We'll be fine. We'll or be the right. orgasmic birth. Uh, when he gets a boner during that, it's gonna be even weirder. And that could be hours long. And we don't you're gonna know. take the blame. Oh, uh, here Mr. I go. Scissors. We're gonna call you Mr. Scissors from now on. <laughs> okay, spin that wheel, Josh. All right, here we go. Hey. Oh, we're gonna learn about some satanic cults today. Well, it's a good thing we're all officers in training. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that leads us to believe that some sort of rituals are taking place. However, unless we catch them actually breaking the law or find evidence that leads directly to participants in some illegal activity, we have no case. So we have no case against people breaking the law if they don't break the law. <laughs> <laughs> it's very insightful. And, and and it's phrased in a way that that's a shame. <laughs> yes, yes. Doggone it. <laughs> uh, one is the uh, pagan or occultic community, and the other community is, of course, the homosexual community. Interestingly enough, uh, they go hand in hand. <laughs> um, but here's the thing, yeah. no. He just likens Satan worshippers to gay guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that's even wrong. It's, it's a, the no, wrong way up. <laughs> it's supposed to be upside down. It's horns up. <laughs> okay, so I had to come out and stand here so you can spin the wheel. I want to see the look on your face when we land on the orgasmic birth video. And we're going to have a, a facial expression expert from the FBI determine whether or not it's pleasure. Here we go! Ooh, look at that spin, everybody! <laughs> oh, dear God. It's, oh. Yeah. Oh. School bus accidents. Oh, God, this is, yeah. this is not what I was hoping for. <laughs> Oh! Ooh, in the bus cam. Still housing in the rear of the bus, but upon impact, the lateral forces were so great that the camera oh. was wrenched from its mounting and destroyed. Yeah, oh, shit. This was the camera's last shot, showing seats being hurled about. As you look at this, think about what would have happened had there been children in these seats. Or I could not. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. We can do it. If I'm a kid, I'm jumping out the back of that bus. <laughs> <laughs> They're not moving. Oh, God. Okay, Jay, put us out of our misery. God damn it. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Let's find out about our Rebel Lazars. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Uh huh. That reminds me of that. Yeah, very much. <laughs> I'm just a poor man, Remlazar loves me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I fell into the river. <laughs> I was a believer, else I fell down. 
Mamma Mia, that's where I'm Lozar. <laughs> Beelzebub. <laughs> that's a that's <laughs> <a> <laughs> side for me. More me. Check for symbols in the forest preserve. <laughs> I don't practice Santeria. I just worship Ramblaza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, well, the first tape that we're going to rush through to get the Ram Lazar mm. is Satanic Cult Training Video. Josh, what's uh, Satanic Cult Training Video about? It's 73 minutes of bullshit that they made up be about Satanism because they uh, took a look at the front of the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey. It's like, this guy wrote a book. And then they put some um, upside down crosses on trees. Uh, no, the it. Satanists did that. No, The people no, who made the video no. clearly did not do that. The reason why this pentacle would not be considered satanic is because it has one point up. Now, Satanists would reverse. No, it is definitely not happenstance that the second this man wanders into this park, there is a pentagram on a tree. And it's not even the right way up for, for, for Satanists. Yeah. It's upside down. Well, he points that out and we were like, oh, when they went to film this, they, they drew that on the, on the tree and they fucked up. Someone got fired over that blunder. Oh yeah. There's the uh, inverted cross. Now this is satanic. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, it's clearly made with the same spray paint can. <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend that one wasn't made by a satanist, but this one is. <laughs> well, it's actually fairly fresh, too. The main thing is that, well, first off, we start off with um, the cop slash pastor who's wearing a sweater and one of a series of Cosby sweaters. And then we cut to a gentleman with a blonde mullet. Eric Pryor is a former satanic high priest turned Christian who now spends his time educating people about the dark side of... Quite a change in careers. I don't want a blonde mullet anymore. I want a brown mullet. <laughs> he went from a satanic high priest to a Catholic priest. Apparently. It's all it totally legitimate. Absolutely. There is nothing fraudulent in this video. There's two different communities that use this park. Uh, one is the uh, pagan or occultic community, and the other community is, of course, the homosexual community. Interestingly enough, uh, they go hand in hand. So they have to go outside to uh, do their rituals, and also the homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Oh, what? Yeah, just that, that minor little mention little? to put to connect Satanists and homosexuals in your brain. In your brain. Yes. Can you yeah, say like, agenda? Well, the pre the precursor to that is the the host of the video, the Wilford Brimley looking guy. Yeah. Is is a pastor slash police officer. Yes. So once you see pastor, and then he comes in, and, and the other guy goes, "I'm I'm a former Satan worshiper who's now a Catholic priest." Uh, when deviants like Satan worshippers come into the woods, also homosexuals come into the woods <laughs> and do their, and you're like, whoa, 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 you know, like, religious isn't, angle. And then, isn't that a strange crossover? And then they just move on. Yeah. Sure. Now what's interesting here is the number nine. Nine represents the nine satanic statements. This is uh, the way occultists tell each other, hey, we're Satanists and we're partying. They actually go through the nine satanic like points and they're all completely sane and reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> we, found, we, found, we found ourselves agreeing with those points. Yeah. Number four, Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. I definitely what, agree with that. What, what is the problem? Satan represents vengeance instead of... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all good. You know, I'm on the fence about whether or not this this is for a legitimate informational purpose because it, it it gets very, very detailed and it doesn't have a religious agenda, which it seems like it would in the first five minutes. Right. And it wasn't like, okay, yeah, turn to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. It was like, watch for these weird things because they could be connected to actual satanic worship. And but the main message there is... very in informational. But that's where my biggest problem comes in. It's like we're initially put into this park with this guy and everything's obviously mocked up. Like, and it's, there's no cop that's going to walk into a park and see boom, 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 boom. And so that's, that's where I start. Like, that seems like... I agree. That's, they, a, that's a fluff thing. They should have had full disclosure that their, their, their Satan-worshipping high priest, this turned Catholic priest, was fake. <laughs> and was just setting up examples. Yes. Yeah. Big dent in the credibility of the video. Exactly. <laughs> 
Okay, we have a rope here. Uh, this is a this is a noose. And actually, if you look at it closely, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but there's blood. So yeah. you're touching it stuff from an active crime scene, or? <laughs> <laughs> what we have here is a medicine bottle of two percent xylocaine. It's it's used to numb uh, people, and for that matter, animals. He happened to find the little vial of lidocaine, uh, which yeah, you, you inject into your 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 cat or your lady, <laughs> who's going to scream when you torture her to death. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little vial of lidocaine isn't going to numb a full-grown person. Yeah, I believe I believed Rem Lazar was more real <laughs> than, than the priest. Yeah. <laughs> what is this more real? Uh, Rem Lazar was more real. Rem Lazar is real. Oh, whoa. Let's he, just don't. Does he come on you in your dreams? I mean, come to you in your dreams too? <laughs> Mike. Mike, we're getting there. We're getting okay. there. Don't worry about it. Look, 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 Rem Lazar is coming. I just want to point Rem out that. Rem Lazar is coming, Mike. <laughs> Rem Lazar is coming. Prepare when I, yourself. When I was seven, <laughs> Rem Lazar came on me. I mean, came to me in my dreams as well. <laughs> And he said the same thing. Rem's coming. Oh, hi. What are oh, we doing? That there's. We did drug her, but it's for educational purposes. And so those would be some of the head markings that would indicate... Grandpa! <laughs> Do I have to wear a weird bikini? <laughs> Watch those fingers, Grandpa. <laughs> Look, the Satanist video wasn't completely worthless. I did learn that Satanists love anal. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And they have a specific a calendar, calendar for they anal. They have a calendar for when anal is and isn't acceptable. There's a very specific layout. Uh, spoilers, most of the time it's acceptable. <laughs> Satanists celebrate a host of rituals and ceremonies during the course of each year. A sexual type of ritual, anal, a celebration of orgies including anal, 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 entails anal. They should mark on the calendar when anal isn't accepted. It would be shorter. Yeah, it would save you time. Yeah. Pick, pick yeah, this the, uh, December 1st through the 3rd. Pick your gender. Anal, oral, and vaginal orgies that also include bestiality with any age or sex devotees. Pick your your, your, your hole, your age, your hole. Uh, it, oh, Pick your hole. It, 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 December 4th through the 13th. Just fuck Anal's whatever. acceptable, gender's acceptable, and we move on to the next. Yeah. And we, you know, that's to be fair, like, even though there were these delineations between the holidays, they all kind of had the same they thing. They were just all like, anal holidays. Yeah. <laughs> anal, anal. Anal. What happens if you what happens if you do anal at a, a time that is not delineated? Do you Satan get gets real out? pissed. Oh, okay. He, doesn't kick he, you send, he sends you to heaven. He doesn't, he doesn't kick you out of thing. He's just like you. Anal, anal, anal. They would dismember bodies. Is that like a witch? Like a Halloween witch? Yeah, that's probably a drawing she made as a kid. No, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the reason she's blacked out isn't to hide her identity. It's because it's an actress. <laughs> oh, she met Satan. Here's all the magic that's in this video, Jay. Number one, that someone got $12 for it. Number two, this perfect coffee stain. That's a beautiful work of art. Inside a clamshell. Oh, yeah. How did this happen? Well, let's open it up. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's explore here. Okay. okay. What, what, well, what, first of all, look at this amazing label. That's, I mean, that's... That, okay, yeah, 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 that's the clue. Confidential, naked ghost video. Naked ghost video. Uh, we also have a DVD release of this, and it's by a different it's, production company. It's not naked ghost video, yeah. it's gun something video. Yeah, gun media. It, it, it was probably a real police training video that, that was not copywritten or... There is no way this is a real police yeah. training video. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think there is, though. I think it is. Jay, Jay, yes. wh while you have that out, yeah. check it. Ooh. I'm gonna say it's printed. Cause look at look at this. Look at those. They fucked oh. up. Oh! This is this is bullshit. Oh, it is. Yep, that's a fuck up. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this right here. Look, look. You can see. Maybe the that's pixels. part of the Naked Ghost video logo. Mm -hmm. Is a giant coffee. Is this a giant coffee stain? <laughs> see, I had a theory that these were handmade. Well, the DVD release has a UPC on it. It does. 
It has a barcode. So what if this is like something that somebody made? This is like a bootleg of the DVD. Oh, the other way. Yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. Right, yeah. Right. But that happens. People like make bootleg cassettes and put them on Discogs. Sure. This is totally, yeah, this is totally my, fair. Yeah, my first thought was, okay, this is like like a eight and a half by 11 sheet of white paper. Yeah. Right. And someone someone was like doing 10 of them and, ten, and then- Maybe they yeah, put their coffee down. It's, it's like a, per, but you can see- You can see that there's parts where the- That is a printed coffee stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Inkjet. Yeah. Jet lines. Yeah. Well, you can tell. You can see the pixels. Yeah. Even yeah. when you look at it up close, it is not a real coffee stand. Yeah. So this all is, right. This is, Let's move on to our next. We're video. on to your naked ghost video now. <laughs> Another thing that is oftentimes done in ritualistic homicides is a penis is placed inside the mouth of the deceased person. Well, we rushed through our first VHS. Yay, gonna, fuck that. Now we're gonna rush through our second uh, video of the night, Preventing Yay. Disaster at the Crossing. Mike, explain Preventing Crossing at the Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> preventing Crossing at the Disaster. Get through it. Well, this, this, this is a video. It's one of the most competent videos of the night. Oh, most well, effective. Yeah. Uh, it's about if you're a school bus driver, uh, the do's and don'ts of when you're at a railroad crossing to have your bus filled with children, other people's children, yes. not get <laughs> fucking hit by a train. Very because in Greeley, Colorado, the famous band Greeley Estates <laughs> oh, no. named their band after. Oh, no. uh, Greeley, Colorado, in 1961, a bus got hit by a train, sadly, and 20 children died. Yes. And really, they were like, shit, we got to tell bus drivers to watch out for trains. Yeah. Apparently, that was not common sense at the time. No. And then uh, the video goes through. They do a little recre recreation. Which is very which That was cool. They had an empty school bus kind of on the tracks, and they hit it with and the like train. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! See, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> they really did it. Yeah. yeah. They hit a... Uh, a bus with a train in this video. <laughs> and they're like, everybody, a train weighs six million tons. <laughs> it's this giant hunk of steel that cannot be stopped. Especially by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Who would have thought? The, get the fuck out of the bus. Yeah. This thing get weighs 50,000 tons. It's, if it hits your car, it's gonna obliterate it. It's a train! <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Wait, it's 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 very important information for a very specific uh, group of people. This is a very targeted DVD. We are not the target audience no. for this for this movie. No, the average person is not the target audience. No, unless you drive a school bus. <laughs> yes, but when you get your kids out of the bus, uh -huh. go that way. You're not yeah, not the other way to the safe area because when that train hits the bus, it's gonna <laughs> it could fling the bus. And hit all the kids. Yeah, so you're, no, if no. the train's coming this way, go this way, over there. Depending on the right angle. Well, the bus driver has to sit there and do mathematical calculations. Like, when it hits the bus, it's going to go this way. I think what they should really do is just run the fuck and never stop. That's up. fair. Just, just run. Team. Just run. Fuck the safe zone. Yeah. Just keep yeah, running. Don't get to the point and be like, okay, we're safe right here. No, just run. Just keep running. Well, well, then, run then home. They keep running. Then you got a bunch of kids who like run into the woods and nobody can find any of the kids. So that's, when, that's when they, they uh, that's team up with Rem Lazar. They meet Rem Lazar. <laughs> In the woods. I think Ron Lazar gets them back home safely. No, there's just satanic cults. With, no, like, there's no satanic cults out there. They're <laughs> waiting in the woods with like burlap sacks. No. By train tracks and for bloody, little kids. Bloody nooses just, and there's Novocaine. out there painting fucking upside down pentagrams on trees. Well, no, the irony for the is kids. that there's not Satanists out there. There's people making a police training video out there doing graffiti on the <laughs> trees. Oh. To look like Satan is symbols. Yeah. And then they gotta silence the kids so yes. nobody can find out that they're making fake satanic symbols. Exactly. So the children are saved from the police by Rem Lazar. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All, it. it all goes back to Rem Lazar. You know, it always he saves, does. He saves kids in the woods and definitely doesn't molest or, them. Or are the woods filled with Catholic priests just <laughs> waiting for kids to run. Oh no. <laughs> run out of the bus. No. <laughs> Come into the arms of the Lord. The Catholic priest, they actually put like a spike strip in front of the railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> a lot happens in the woods on Best of the Worst. It's true. A lot happens there in could the be woods. Big, there could be Bigfoot that are aliens. Yeah. 
It's almost like it's a place you don't need a permit to shoot at. Oh, yeah. oh right. Um, I want to talk about the staging because yeah. they stage a train school bus accident. And they have the, yeah, they have the Sorry, train have kind of lodged on the tracks. Uh, clearly an empty school bus. Yes. And the train hits it and they, they have a camera inside, a VHS camera, inside some kind of steel rig. That, that immediately fails. Yeah. 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 They're like, okay, uh, isn't that cool? Uh, and then they have... <laughs> They, Isn't that cool? Yeah. Ironically, cool. they had they were they were there was a local news crew. Yeah. So this was one of the other. Oh, that was the other one. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, be it because of lack of good training, simple forgetfulness, or who knows what reasons, scenes like this one. Look out! Hey! Ah! Oh fuck! Whoa! <laughs> this wasn't staged. An Oklahoma City television crew producing a series on highway rail crossing safety witnessed this driver go right through a highway rail crossing. At Dang! Like the first video, mm. uh, not to go back to it, but the um. first video had a had a, a very dark chapter about uh, abuse of children, mm. yes. and then they had a segment in this. Oh yeah, where they talked about a real life incident yes. in Colorado. They interviewed the pa uh, mother of one of the victims. Oh. They interviewed one of the survivors. So it was it was a double downer. The real life. Uh, tragedy that could happen when a school bus filled with children gets hit by a train. Yeah! And then, <laughs> and, then we, and then we moved on to Rem Lazar. Okay! <laughs> Just skip these and go right to Rem Lazar where it's only implied that he's molesting the children. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Rem Lazar is such that we can watch a video about child, real children getting hit with a train. And like like 15 minutes later, we can be feeling wonderful joy. Yeah. Yes. That first one we found right on the railroad track, and that's the one that was already gone. And then we found Bruce, and it had thrown him from the track clear over to the road. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Rem Lazar saved the night, and Rich, you need to explain to us what creating Rem Lazar is. I'm still not sure what creating Rem Lazar is. The entire time. Oh my god. Rem, Rem Lazar is a fascinating musical... This little boy and this little girl go to the school and they have the same imaginary friend. Zach, I've just about had it with your daydreaming in class. I wasn't just- And I will hear no more stories about your imaginary world. When you're in my classroom, this is the only world there is. No more stories. Listen to Dana Barrett. No <laughs> it's a weird school where there's nothing on the walls and the, the boy gets sent to the, the principal's office and it's just for, for having imagination. How dare you? Yeah. Does he go to school in a hospital? <laughs> He makes his way to the principal's office singing while a shadowy figure hides in the fog behind him. It looks him. like it follows. It's yeah. It's like fucking creepy. The way the kid's walking too, I mean, he's got this dead look in his eyes and it looks yeah, like his, like he's walking like his neck is broken. And, and none of the adults like imagination in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. No, it's a very, it's a very anti snuffleupagus <laughs> kind of kind of world we're living in here. The, the boy's teacher hates imagination. The principal hates imagination. I don't think the question is what we're going to have to do with me, but what we're going to have to do with you, all of you. <laughs> Dude. Who are you talking to? I don't care. Nobody wants to listen. Not my parents. Not my teachers. Nobody. Fuck you. Principal the, Zod? The, yeah, the boy comes into Principal Zod's office and is like, do you have any children? Do you have any kids? I like to think that all the students in this school are my children. And he's clearly got a picture of his kids on his desk. And he doesn't want to talk about them. <laughs> what is that? 
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> Josh, they were killed in a, a bus, bus accident. accident. I was just about to fucking say that. <laughs> it's too raw. Oh. It's too goddamn raw. <laughs> I was just about to, to make that joke. He was in such pain, he had to join a satanic cult. <laughs> So the, the, the Back in 61 in Greeley, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> My children lost all their imagination. A train carrying corn syrup. <laughs> Killed my children. Little Timmy would be 42 years old today. Yeah. My nickname for him was Rem Lazar. <laughs> the children say they can sometimes still see him in the hallways. <laughs> he had blue hair due to a weird genetic anomaly. <laughs> No, the, the train that hit them was carrying blue dye. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, <laughs> See, this all makes sense because then the little girl sees Rem Lazar too, and there's that scene with the two kids in the classroom where like, we're seeing this, we are having the same person in our dreams, yeah. and it feels like it's right out of Nightmare on Elm Street. When did you first meet Rem Lazar? I don't remember exactly. He was just always there whenever I needed him. Yeah, me too. Nancy, you dreamed about the same creep I did. You're having dreams about the same person. It's the child of the principal that yeah. kid died in a bus accident. Yeah. And, and all, the, all the fucking missing persons are turning their heads. <laughs> it's all connected. Yeah. And the principal picks up his coffee cup and there's a coffee stain on it. Oh, the yeah. Good night, sweetheart. I don't enjoy having to punish you. I do it because I love you. <laughs> He's punishing her for having an imaginary friend. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it doesn't quite line up. Yeah. Oh God! Don't go oh, in there. Don't no, not down there. No. Oh God. No. No. Okay, Man. hands are okay. Whoa. All right. Oh no, I'm psych. Yeah. So far, all he's done is stalk someone in a hallway and watch a little girl sleep. <laughs> You're being a cynic, Jay. This is magical. <laughs> it's about children discovering their imagination. hurting my brain, yeah. like, like trying to figure out what it is. Can we just talk about the fact that they go to a, a, a deserted barn and they suddenly have a mannequin with them? Where did this thing come from? They have to recreate their imaginary friend. It's the most logical thing to do once you learn you share an imaginary friend. You have to go to, to an abandoned to barn. In an abandoned barn in the woods. Yeah. It wasn't creepy at all. Uh. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm careful. Oh, God. But there's a problem. He comes to life. Magically, he comes to life. Yeah. But he doesn't have his magic medallion that will bring him to life. In order to, I guess, make him come more oh, to magically God. alive? <laughs> come on! What, what, what do they have to do in order to make him come more rich? More, more, in order to make him come the more to girl took care of that. <laughs> they, they need to find the chaotic medallion. Quixotic. The Quixotic. Quix, they need to find the Quixotic medallion. That's their quest. Wait, wait, that makes him come more? Thank you. That makes him come more to life, yes. Oh, uh <laughs> Because okay, he's already come to life. If they don't find that medallion before sunset, Rem Lazar will never come again. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? Okay, so they need to find the medallion 
which has been stolen by that thing from Power Rangers. Yeah. 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 Ah! Oh, An Anton LeMay Octopus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's somewhere up high. It's up oh, high. Yes, yeah. It is hidden at the highest point that the mine can go. A place so high, most people are not able to find it in the course of their entire lifetime. And then he asked the little kids, he's like, what's the highest point you can imagine? And the little girl's like, oh, a mountain. And the kid's like, the moon. Yeah. The highest place you can imagine is the top of the World Trade Center. The <laughs> <laughs> Quixotic Battalion will be there on September 1st of 2001. <laughs> September 10th. <laughs> the morning of September 11th. <laughs> you have to be there to get the medallion. That's not it. That's the Empire State Building. It's really tall. It certainly is. But the building my dad showed me is much taller. And there are two of them. Oh, God. Oh, my oh God! God! No! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How the fuck did you call that? <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> Rich, did you write this? Fuck. No, I did Fuck. not. Fuck. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's high. They're there, Rich. I know. I'm just saying, Rem Lazar is behind 9-11. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Rem Lazar melts steel beams? <laughs> <laughs> With the power of imagination. <laughs> The power of imagination brought down the top. I mean, I what guess you, that's kind of true. What do you true. think the Chaotic yeah. Medallion's for? 9-11 yeah. <laughs> was a Rum Lazar job? <laughs> it was! We didn't know. Creating Rem Lazar. Destroying the World Trade Center. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, street gangs? Do whoppers? New York's toughest. What the fuck? You know how it is. Do up gangs all in Central Park. <laughs> So what happens after they walk up to the World Trade Center? Oh, and they, they walk find, away. They find people singing doo-wop in the park. Under sky shining bright, we've got it all. Day and night. Yeah, we've kind of we've kind of skimmed over the songs. Yeah. They're all terrible and they're the singing is awful. But we shouldn't skim over them because they happen so often. Yeah. Every couple minutes there's another new song. Mm -hmm. The musical journey through Central Park goes from doo-wop to rap. Hip-hop! Hip-hop, rap. We got it all. Out of sync. To, uh, and I was thinking in my brain as we were watching it, they're going to do classical next. Oh, wait, that's too obvious. We got it all. We're going to run into some other genre? Yep. Yeah, we are. I was going to say, they're going to do doo-wop meets hip-hop meets classical. Because that's the next progression of, like, Extreme Different. genres, yeah. All on the way to 9-11. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, little girl can play violin. She can play a tiny violin. How did she get there? It was just there. Maybe he was Satan, and you come by, and you challenge him to, like, a fiddle duel. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't happen in Central That's Park, Rich. He can also, the devil can also challenge people in Central Park if he wants. It happened in Georgia. We don't, we don't from that video that Satan has loved the park. <laughs> <laughs> no, the devil went down to Georgia. Yes, it's literally, it's in the lyrics. <laughs> and that is a historical document, that song. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Hate is contagious. And you're catching it. Medallion? We don't want to be afraid of you. We don't want to hate you. What? 
<laughs> Rich, I didn't know you were in this video. I totally wrote this. <laughs> like me? No one has ever liked me before. All you have to do to, to make somebody that you think is your enemy your friend is to say, you are my friend. My friends, I'm sorry for the problems I have caused. I only wish I could reverse them. I tried that once are. to a bully in elementary school and he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so we're, where, where are we there? Oh, we're talking about yeah. the, let's, let's we're talking Ron about- Let's put Ron back where it belongs. Yeah. <laughs> in the dumpster. Mike, that's yeah. a really nice shirt. Thank you, Josh. That's a good shirt. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Like a sweater. Like, is it's it nice. Like it, Rich? Yeah. It's nice. It looks good on you. Uh, but so, so, so they learned a lesson where they learned to make friends with their enemy. But it didn't help them but at it all. it didn't do anything. Yeah. So then they just moved they on? They still had to find the highest place they could imagine, which it turns out is just love? It's just love. They're ready to drink that Kool-Aid. <laughs> and it was a whole, the whole thing was a dream sequence and the two of them were in that weird abandoned barn with a mannequin. Yeah, and that's when the cop came in. Yeah. was like, whoa. Rem Lazar. What the fuck you doing with mannequin? I think you better leave the doll here, son. The officer was like, why do I keep finding little children in this barn with yeah. mannequins? We really have to stop that satanic cult. <laughs> Sorry. He said specifically, you should go home, don't bring the doll. Leave, leave that weird mannequin. I'll take care of it. <laughs> the cop wanted to fuck that mannequin as well. Oh, what yeah. Where did you find it? Someplace very high. Did you find it in a tree? Even higher than that. I don't know anything higher than the streets. World Trade Center. Well, that's not very high anymore. <laughs> that, that's a good transition. Yes. Because we, we've dissected what happens in Rem Lazar. But let's, let's look further. Why was Rem Lazar made? I have we're theor no fucking we're, idea. We're speculating that it's a failed pilot. Yeah. Because it's TV like 45 series? minutes yeah. which 40, with commercials. It would be minutes, which is like two half hour episodes yeah. once you factor in commercial breaks. In your heart, I live forever. In your dreams, we'll be together, you and I. Imagination has no end. Adventures to be shared with friends like It, it has all the like the hallmarks of like a kids show. It also has this undercurrent where it's like, is this some sort of like subtle cult introduction? Yeah, we've went through the whole thing. We're waiting for it to take that turn, yeah. and it never does. And then we're watching through the credits, and it's got like a couple therapists in there, so it's like, oh no, it's really all surface. If you change like the the, the highest thing you can imagine, if that if that if that's God and the whole thing is like belief because faith, then this video makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. But, but it that doesn't was never, have that. <laughs> it was, the highest thing was never God, the highest thing was imagination. No love. But it's just the most generic things you can imagine, which yeah. makes me think they didn't give a shit about the message. They, well, I think they were just trying to come up with a generic message that would appeal to kids and appeal to PBS or some, yeah, some sure. network. We're, we're, looking at gen, we're looking at generic positive. Like, do you feel better than you did when you started watching Creating Rem Lazar? <laughs> I mean, we did. <laughs> I did. We, we watched two fucking miserable nightmares and then we got to Rem Lazar. Yeah. It was like a breath of fresh air. You walk through a park and got lost. <laughs> I feel dirty saying Rem Lazar. Like it sounds, there's something kind of like, it's like the word kumquat where it sounds dirty. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Like Rem Lazar, like I feel like I'm saying something where it's like someone's gonna point out what that really means. We, we attempted to break down the name Rem Lazar. At first, we thought it might be an anagram. It was an unanagrammable. No. <laughs> then, then we what thought REM, 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 REM memory, sleep, yeah. uh, uh, rapid eye movement. Oh, thank you. When you're when you're in deep sleep, when you you achieve REM sleep, yeah. it was when you're when you're asleep. Yeah. So clearly, the, he comes to you in your dreams, yes. like what? Freddy Krueger. What is Lazar? That's laser with the two the vowels, vowels switched. switched. So laser's an acronym. Yes. 
And Rich has it up on his phone right now. Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Also, TASER is an acronym. Yes, uh, TASER is an acronym, uh, which comes from... Thomas A. Swift's Electric Rifle? Yes, which was a, <laughs> a book from 1911 where a fictional character named Thomas A. Swift went on a safari hunt with an electric rifle. And he was shooting elephants he and hippos and shit. He was shooting big game with an with electric, his electric rifle. rifle. So whoever invented the taser multi many decades later. It, would, it wasn't Thomas A. Swift. <laughs> no, that was a fake book. Yeah. <laughs> it was some guy. So what you're saying is the taser was named after this book. Yes. Yes. And the book Six years and later. And also the word Lazar sounds like bizarre. Lazar, I, th <laughs> I, th I think is French for lizard. Oh, oh. So th that's why all these. Oh these my God, like, he's a reptilian. <laughs> he's a dream lizard. See, all these things are like creepy and weird, or like like lasers and, and for, violence. And for, and for a moment, I thought Lazar was Lazarus. Oh, uh, uh, a biblical oh. reference from of the, coming back from the back. dead. Yeah. But that's L A. So we have yeah. we have we have we have um we have acronyms. Uh -huh. And and Listen. anagrams and Area 51 reversed vowels. Area 51. Area 51. Bob Lazar. Oh Whoa. my God! Bob Lazar broke the case on the the, the Area 51. Your what does that have to do with the Twin Towers, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> it's all connected. They're gonna shut the program down. Everybody, save this! Oh my God! Oh. Stop! Stop! Project Blue Book. What? What? <laughs> His hair. Oh my God! Brem Lazar was made by oh! you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find the twin towers. All right, Jay, take us home, Jay. We're, <laughs> we're almost there. Oh God, I oh. hope we're almost there. Like, um, like, oh my God! Like the railroad video. What? We derailed <laughs> well, and killed a bunch of children. Oh no! Uh, okay, uh, Rich, best of the worst. Rem Lazar. I, it doesn't. Yeah, it Mike. solved everything. All the world's questions and problems oh. in one videotape. Yeah, Mike. <sighs> oh, don't you fucking do don't it! Don't do it. <laughs> I, I, I am. I don't want to go against the grain. What are you doing? I, I what are you doing? I enjoyed Rem Lazar. It was fascinating. Mike. In fact, one could say it was bizarre. But the best of the worst to me is the school bus railroad crossing <laughs> video. What the it was it was in, informative, and you are now disqualified from ever participating <laughs> in the every, final every, of every, every, every every time it happens. Every time <laughs> you know, hey, Rumble Star is the most energy you, you listen, we've watched. No, no, listen, no, 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 no. You, Wait, you, you, you make up your fucking face. It's you, my pick. I got the spotlight. I don't fucking care. Let me you, explain. You, you, fuck you. No, I'm not. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not trying to be a contrarian. You are so doing it. In other episodes, <laughs> I've picked films that I found entertaining. <laughs> The, the rules of what is best or the worst are, are vague and nebulous. I have my right <laughs> to choose my best or the worst. All right. Why is it best or the worst? Because it literally is the best of the worst. What does that mean, though? I, best of the worst is whatever is the most entertaining. Yes. In, you in, cannot say you are more entertained by that than. No, 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 it's not what is the most entertaining. You can when you're being a contrarian asshole. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's always been the most entertaining. No, for whatever. That's what's reason. Most entertaining for every reason. That's it's been that for years, Mike. No, 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 not entertaining. Yes, it can be that. <sighs> Yeah, Mike, what did you this. learn from the Railroad well, Crossing well, video? Well, Josh, what is best of the worst? It's Rem Lazar, uh, it's right? Creating uh, Rem Lazar, easily. Uh, that's I the best, for of, best the of the worst. best of the worst is Rem Lazar, because Rem Lazar is the that best. That was amazing. <laughs> it, was, it was fucking... There's no... There's nothing... I don't even know if there's anything better than Rem Lazar that we've ever watched. Clearly yeah. I'm outvoted. That's yes. fine. Yes. But you're outvoted that, because your you're vote is bullshit. bullshit. I what? thought that was the best <laughs> of the worst. I loved Rem Lazar. I thought it was funny and amazing. You try to justify it. <laughs> you try to justify it. You don't make any fucking sense. That's the best of the worst. All right. Well, let's conjure Satan and destroy satanic cult training Ooh, video. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Just leave it on a railroad track. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Man. We wouldn't really let it run over. No, no. No. No, you just get a shot of the track and then you The off chance we actually derail the train. Yeah, you're not going to I would feel pretty bad yeah, about I would, that. I would feel kind of bad about that. Well, also, you're not going to do rail train by putting a VHS tape on the fucking Probably track. That's not. not. Yeah. No. If a bus won't de derail it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a train! From another place, not from outer space, from some place even higher, from the 
走。